Hello, Dave here. Welcome to Learn JavaScript with me. This is Chapter 9, JavaScript in the Browser. Exercise 1, create a pop-up window. Working through the book called Modern JavaScript, Develop and Design by Larry Oman. If you're interested, uh, please go to LarryOman.com for more information on the book. Get that out of the way. And I have here on my local host, I'm running XAMPP, and I have my exercises out here. They're also available out at DaveCoast.com. And you can go to Learning JavaScript. We'll take you to js.davecoast.com. And you can go directly there if you wish. All the exercises are out here so far. Uh, the exercises started in Chapter 4, so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and now starting the Chapter 9 exercises. And this first one, creating a pop-up window. And if I click the link here with JavaScript enabled, I get a little window, a little pop-up. And that's the code that we're going to look at in a moment. So let me go back to my uh, ZAMP local host here, bring up that pop-up window, and this is what we just saw. And let's go ahead and start out by taking a look at the code, and then we'll go ahead and go to the bring up the bring up Firebug and look at it behind the scenes. The code is available out here. Let me come back to. Dave Coast here, and I have a sticky post here. And there's a link to js.davecoast.com on here, larryelman.com if you want to see the book. And here you can download the code. And here's all of the videos so far. But once again, coming back here, let's bring up the actual code, take a look at it. I use Notepad. For my handy dandy editor. And here's the JavaScript. You see it's pretty darn simple. The key piece of the puzzle here is this window.open statement. And this, uh, the main page you see there, here is the section area, probably the most important area, or the only area that matters, right? Up above is all my goofy stuff. I have my, uh, my, my Google Analytics, and I threw an ad on there. But anyway, here's the, the ad that matters. And what we have here is a standard link, right? Although for target, we'll give it a name as opposed to do the underscore blank for the new window thing, right? And give it an ID. It needs an ID. For JavaScript to talk to it. But anyway, this link, right, just references another page. This other page is a very simple little window that just says, hello, here I am. You can put anything you want into there. And I just put some goofy CSS around it with my silly classes just to play with colors and to have some fun with it. So let's uh, take a look at the code and then we'll take a look at it in debugger. So here is the JavaScript code, and you see it's basically one function. Well, add an anonymous function down here. And that's where we actually call the other function based on the click event. So when the window is loaded, execute an anonymous function. It's an anonymous function because it has no name. And then we do the document get element by ID. Link ID. Now look at that. Link ID, right? So there's the ID of the uh, of the uh, link from the HTML page, and if that is clicked, then we execute create pop-up. And the important thing here is the standard behavior, and this is the progressive enhancement. And with progressive enhancement, if the visitor has JavaScript turned off, it'll use the standard link processing 
and just open up that new window. So handling both cases whenever reasonably possible. So once again, so hit the click, go to the create pop-up function. This create pop-up function uh, creates a variable called pop-up work and uses the window.open function or window.open, the open method of the window object. And it passes three arguments. The first argument is the URL that it's going to open. And that's this window here, or this HTML page that I keep in the same directory. Whatever name we wish to give it, and just made up a name, and I just called it uh, CH9 pop-up name. And then here are the attributes that you can adjust, right? Because this is not an alert box or a confirm box. We can adjust these attributes. These are the main attributes that uh, that are generally, and that's why I put the comment, common attributes to specify, right? You see height 400, and these I just made up for what I needed and where to position it from the top, from the left, right? And I just put it somewhere in the center. And then, yeah, locational, resizable, all these type of values. Uh, we and, and we can take a look at that, or let's take a look at that right now. And that's why I have this tab here, just the w uh, the w three schools dot com definition. And here's the meaning of those values. So if you you want to get some more information on what some of these uh, options are, please take a look. These are the recommended. Oops, let me bring the code back up here. One second. Here we go. So these are the recommended options from the book, especially, you know, allowing the visitor to resize it and always showing the scroll bars. Anyway, very common. Then if pop-up work, right, that's my pop-up. So I'm basically saying if, if it's not null, this variable, and it's not closed, right? Here's that exclamation sign. Then give it focus. Return false. And let's go back and start all over again. So let's, so done with the code. Very straightforward. So let's take a look at that again, right? Here's our, here's our window. I click the link and it says, oh, okay, here's that pop-up. Here it is, right? It was 400 pixels from the top and 500 from the left, right? I could change those guys and move around where, where it goes. But anyway, so here's a little pop-up window with JavaScript enabled. So let's go ahead and disable JavaScript. Go to Options. And under the Content section here, uncheck Enable JavaScript. Click OK. I'm going to refresh my page. I click Create Pop-Up. Oh, look at that. It does another window in that style. And that's the difference. And that's the progressive enhancement. So let's go back to Options here. Turn JavaScript back on because this is because that's what we're learning is JavaScript. Right now, I'll refresh that. I'm not sure I had to refresh it, but I'll refresh it. Create pop-up, it comes back up. Let's take a quick look at it in debugger. And I'll go ahead and detach our console here. And just so you can see how this works, I'm going to pull this line of code. Yep, well, I'm just copying that this this one line here. And right there, and I call it pop up work. I'm going to change this XX pop up just so it's different here. I will leave these variables the same. 
but let's play around with this a little bit. So instead of the height being 400 and the width 800, you know, let's make it uh, 350 and 650, right? Make it a little smaller and move it from the top. I'm going to move it down instead of 200 to 300. And from the left, instead of 500, let's uh, go 600. And now I can run that. And here's our pop-up. And notice that it's a little bit smaller. In fact, I'm going to turn that off. Bring our bring that pop-up back up. But let's see. Ooh, I should have given it a different name. Because if I create pop-up, it's going to put it in the same place. Anyway, you get the idea. Let me close that. And get back to our fire bug. I'm going to close that for a moment. Let's turn fire bug back on. And I am going to, instead of the console, let's go to our script. Let's reload. Notice that it comes up with the HTML. And if I click here, brings up all of the available options. So you don't need to download anything. You can always come out, go out to js.davecoast.com and see any of these. I'm going to bring up the JavaScript. Let's go ahead and go to the first executable line here and put it in debug. And we'll just take a quick look at what happens. We don't need quite this much of the console down below, but I guess we have enough extra. And let's go ahead and move that out of the way. Click our link that stops at our breakpoint. And from the breakpoint, right, nothing has happened yet, right? Pop-up work is still undefined. I can do a step right now, right, window open. And it's setting up these second variables right there. They all are. Step again. And there's our pop-up. Right, there's the pop-up window. Right, and notice pop-up work now has a value. It's window in green, which is, and it shows us that window name, but in green is an object. And now, right, pop-up work is not null. Pop-up work dot closed is false, right? So not pop-up work. So it should give it focus. So I click yes, and it's going to go ahead and execute this line. Step again, and now it's given this window focus. Of course, we're in debugger here. Sorry for moving that thing around like that. And click again, and we're done. And I'll turn off debugger. And it's just handy. Buzz through debugger. I know it's kind of, there's a very simple example here. Let me reattach the, uh, this to the bottom. Turn off debugger. And I can hit create pop-up. That is creating a pop-up window. That's the first exercise in Chapter 9. Simple, straightforward introduction. And we have four other exercises coming along. Thank you very much for watching. Comments or questions, please let me know at the bottom of the video or let me know at dave at davecoast.com. Thank you.